Hello students, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed your spring break and I know you're really worried about moving forward with online app education. I want to do a video for you guys to get you ready for this new venture. So during this time, I know many of you are worried about how you're going to finish your math class. It may feel like you're venturing into something you've never done before. First, stay patient, don't get frustrated, and keep trying until you succeed. You are going to come across some issues. The blackboard, internet, WebEx, your devices, your laptops, your phones. Well, during this presentation, hopefully you will receive some useful information to help ease you during COVID-19. Our method of communication, how in the world do you get in touch with me? How do we stay in touch with each other? Our main source of communication for our math class is gonna be through Remind. I realize that I'm probably gonna start getting a whole lot of DMs, but that's fine, that's part of it. Text me, it's okay. Guys, use Remind. Do not call me on my cell phone unless you have sent a Remind DM first. Also, you'll find all your resources in Blackboard. You also have your Miles email that you can use. Updates are going to be posted on the Miles website all the time, so make sure that you're checking there. Call Miles, of course, if you have any issues by calling the hotline. And again, don't forget about our Padlet, our little IG page that we made. The Math with David chat room and Padlet, that's going to be a fun place that we are going to do total non-math fun stuff just to have some fun with some of your friends. I sent you guys the link in Remind, and here it is again. Okay, where do I start? First, everything that you need is going to be in Blackboard. So go to miles.edu and you'll find your Blackboard link at the top of the page. You also are going to um, receive a lot of text through Remind. So make sure that you are enrolled in Remind. If you're not enrolled, then go into week one class info and you'll find the information to log into Remind. Logging into Blackboard. What do I do with Blackboard now? First of all, log in a lot because instructors are going to be updating stuff probably daily. Um, I would say to set, set aside at least four days a week to make that be your school time. Find your device. Um, remember, uploading assignments from cell phone probably doesn't work. So a laptop or a tablet is probably better. And definitely get to a quiet place where you can concentrate. We're going to begin in week 10. This is the week that was right before spring break when many of you were moving out of the dorms and trying to find places to stay. Be sure to go back to week 10 and complete the assignments if you were unable to attend class during that week. Read and follow everything you see. You may not be able to actually see me teach an example, but there are several resources within Blackboard during the weeks that will help you learn. And remember, everything that you see in red is going to be your grade. Upload assignments. This has always been an issue. How do you get your assignments uploaded to Blackboard? If you have a printer, print out the resource, write the answers, scan it, and take a pic, upload it. If you don't have a printer, write your answers on a piece of paper. Yeah, the drawings, everything, upload the link. If you don't have a printer but you have an app or a touchscreen device, you can upload the assignment, you can write in it, Type in it. On a touch screen, I would say use a stylus, not your finger. Another great app is Snapchat. You can just type in there. iPhone users, don't hold the button down too long because you already know it's going to take a moving pic. And we can't open those files, so make sure that your file is a JPEG. 
The best way to do this is open the moving pic and take a screenshot of the moving pic. Then the screenshot will be a JPEG. Okay, did it upload? Did, did I get your assignment? You will see a pop-up that's going to tell you it's finished. Remember, this may take more than one second because some of the files are going to be larger. Don't close your device until it's all the way done. You can also look in your gradebook. If you see a yellow circle, that means I have it and it's waiting to be graded. If you see a blue circle, that means something's wrong or either you haven't completed the assignment in its entirety. Live sessions. What are we going to do about live sessions? We have created a room for you in WebEx. We are going to meet during the regular time that your class meets. Watch Blackboard and remind for the days that we actually meet live. You will log into my room. My room is called Math with Davit. You can actually watch it on any device. Um, you will find the info of how to log into WebEx in the WebEx and online info tab in Blackboard. Due dates. Everything in WebAssign has been open until Sunday night before week of finals. There will be no deduction for anything in WebAssign. Discussion posts are open all semester. No discussion posts will be graded or accepted after the Sunday night before finals week though. But you do have all semester to get those uploaded and make your replies. The quizzes that we take on quizzes.com, they will have due dates. They'll be posted on Blackboard. Once they've closed, you're going to have to spend, going to have to come to a live office hours session. I'm going to refer to those as LOH. You're going to have to set, attend a live office hours session. If there's not a due date listed on the assignment, then that means that you have until Sunday night before the week of finals. If there is a due date, you'll see it in Blackboard. You can still do the assignments after it do, it's due, but you have to follow the following deductional points. 10% um, first two weeks, 20% for the next two weeks, and then 50% if it's after a month. All students that had old assignments prior to COVID online education, you will still follow the same points as listed above. So some of you guys that still owe me stuff from the beginning of semester, you've already lost 50% off because it's been over a month. But I would definitely make sure that you get those done. Um, at this point, you do not have to have an excuse. So my, my resource that said that you had to have an excuse to be able to make up, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, how do I make up my work or any of the missed work that I have? Okay, anything that you've missed that's a Blackboard assignment, just upload it to Blackboard. Of course, follow your rules for due dates. Quizzes on quizzes.com. You have to make those up during LOH sessions. And you will come to the Math with Dabit WebEx room. I have your resources ready when you log in. Some, okay, the in-class labs, some of your in-class labs that you might have missed can be made up during an LOH, but you are going to lose points because you were not in class when we originally did it. Moving forward, we will not have any more in-class labs. Your labs are now going to be individual and you will be working by yourself. If um, the lab has a due date, it will be posted. There are some old assignments that you can't make up at all. Like it's done, it's over with. We've had several opportunities to make them up before the campus closed, and there's actually no way for me to do them in a virtual setting. So check weeks two through nine for these assignments, and you'll see a note that says you cannot make this up. If you miss an exam, or you, have, or you miss a midterm, that is not assigned in WebAssign. This is very important. 
If you miss an exam or a midterm that was not in WebAssign, you're going to have to take that during an LOH session. Also, you will have to have a webcam on because I have to be able to see you. So what, what will happen is I'll put the exam up on the screen, you'll watch the screen, and I'll watch you through the webcam, and you will then take your exam that you've missed. Moving forward, all of your exams are on WebAssign, so we don't have to worry about that. This is only for the people that have missed one and need to make one up. You will have to schedule an appointment through Remind to set up a um, LOH session. Okay, let's talk about these LOHs. How do they work and when are they going to be scheduled? I'm going to be in the WebEx room during different times. Like I might text you and say, I will be in the room from 1 to 5. So during 1 to 5, you can come in anytime you want to during that time, log in, ask a quick question. Maybe you don't understand something, you want me to teach it to you. Or maybe you just don't understand one of the online assignments and want to ask how to do it. You can log in, ask your question, and then leave once you get your question resolved. No reason to stay in there the full 1 through 5 o'clock p.m. Private sessions are always also going to be held on WebEx. Once you get into the WebEx room in a private session, I will lock it. That way nobody else can come in. It'll just be you in there. How do you schedule them? Well, first of all, some of them can occur within seconds. You know, if I'm free and don't have anything to do, I might just send you guys a remind and say, hey, I'm doing LOHs right now. I'll be on for the next four hours. Um, you also might see them preset. I might put something in Blackboard or on Remind. It says next week we will have office hours from blank to blank. How do you need to get a private session? Um, send me a text or an email and tell me what time is good. If you schedule a time, I will wait for you in that private meeting session for 15 minutes. But if you are over 15 minutes late, I will close the private meeting and you will have to reschedule it. So make sure that you are on time if you schedule a private session. I do have a Google Calendar set up for you. You can get straight to my link in Blackboard, so that way you'll know my free times. So um, definitely look at the Google Calendar before you schedule an appointment. That way you can see if I'm free or not and when my free times are. Um, I basically can schedule LOHs um, for private sessions seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. as long as I'm not busy. Um, yes, I can do weekends, too. Just check the Google Calendar. Guys, let's continue to be patient, be safe, and be smart during this time. And definitely watch your time management skills. And don't forget, you're still in school, people. We are still in school. Stay focused, and you will learn a new way of learning Welcome to online education. Definitely, I have some thoughts for us with Isaiah 35, 4 and Mark 5, 36. But stay patient and trust your journey. We will make it. Some side notes, some side notes. If you are a senior and you're supposed to graduate this semester or this summer, contact me immediately. Like, I need to know this ASAP if you're a senior. Also, if there's no way possible that you are going to be able to do this class online, like, it's impossible. You have no computer. You have no internet. You call the hotline. They can do it for you. Contact me immediately. If you are a student that was failing at midterm, perfect opportunity to try to catch up. Contact me and schedule your private sessions so that we can get some things caught up for you guys. Definitely love you guys and God bless. Everybody be safe. 
be safe. You got this. And definitely dab on this math.